Good morning guys, I'm just going to hop on the bandwagon this week and uh, take you through a tour of my bookshelf. Yeah, it's over there. You look at it pretty much every time and you just don't realize it. Okay, so like in true bandwagon fashion, here we go, tour of my bookshelf. So over up here, my books aren't in any specific order, but this is The Sleeve of the Host, my mom has it. This is Night World. Those are pretty good. Um... These are my Twilight series. I only read them like once. Uh, this is a, it's a mug. It says, I wish the dog had a snooze button. And mornings can be rough. It also doubles as a change jar. Um, then we have My Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling. Um, that's another mug. When you put hot things in it, the TARDIS disappears. Pretty awesome. I wish my camera would focus. Oh, it's focused. Okay, so um, then Harry Potter books. You have to close those by now. Um, Tales of Beetle the Bard, Fantastic Beasts, somewhere to find them. History of Quidditch. That's Journal. That's First Aid Kit. That's Rose. This. I haven't read this yet, but I'm going to. I'm in the middle of reading The Picture of Dorian Gray. Are you going to focus? Ah! And this is just a magical almanac. Fun things like that. Okay, so down here, we have a puppy that I got in Atlanta. Um, all of the House of Night. There's like a million of them. Um, this is the first... This is the first book my mom ever read, and she gave it to me. It's called The Ghost in the Gallery. I think it's like Nancy Drew. This, you can't really see it because it's skinny. But this is a true life story of a woman who um, went through internment camps during the Second World War. Uh, the Hour of I First Believe by Wally Lamb. It's a really inspirational book, kind of faith-based. Uh, these are the, the Blue Blood series by Melissa De La Cruz. I have not read past the Van Allen Legacy. This is my favorite right here. These, these beauties, these ones. I'll just pet them. Um, by, uh, they're the Air Chronicles by Cinda Williams Chima. They're my favorite and they're flawless. This, there's more to these, but I, I haven't gotten them yet. This is by Kelly Armstrong. They're also very good if you like ghost stories, necromancers, stuff like that. This is my 4-H dog. He has an eye patch because he's missing his other eye. Down here we have, uh, well, this is my wand from The Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Uh, my time turner. Oh, you see it? Yeah. But it's, it's, it's empty. Uh, there's no chocolate in it. These are unopened birdie bots of flavor beans. Okay, so this book contains the first thing that I ever read, which was a poem about chipmunks at Christmas time. Slaughterhouse by Kurt Vonnegut. These two are also faith-based books about women who's, I mean, they're like revolutionary era, so if you like that. Um, that's a Bible. This is like a daily devotional. Mere Christianity by C.S. Lewis. Safe in the Shepherd's Arm. Another daily devotional. This is, and then there were nine. Um, like Ten Little Indians is the other title for it. Um, Pride and Prejudice, Shattering Glass, Watership Down. That was... Um, a book that my mom urged me to read for my whole life, and I didn't read it until, like, my senior year of high school. Uh, Touch the Top of the World, it's about a blind man who went hiking, or not hiking, but mountain climbing. Um, that's pretty inspirational, too. Zookeeper's Wife, Second World War book, again, but this is fiction. Uh, well, no, this is not fiction. Um, Invisible Man, I read that my senior year, I don't remember what it's about. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. My little President Bear when I went to go see Obama's inauguration the first time. Um, so then we have Eyes Light Stars for Chance to Dream by Lisa Matchev. Um, those are another couple of my favorites. Percy Jackson, my, for the first of the Percy Jackson, Jacksons are right there. I think it's like the fourth one. City of Ashes, City of Glass. My mom has City of Bones. Right? Yeah, City of Bones. Um, there's Fallen Angels and Lost Souls. Here's my, it's a guinea pig and little box thing. This is my manga collection. It's, I don't have a whole lot, but that is Vampire Knight and that is Full Metal Alchemist. Um, I only have 11 of each of them. Mm -hmm. 
and then we're gonna go down here to the dog's wearable. Um, this is from when the first Hunger Games came out. It's a magazine. This is like if you like fantasy, like Renaissance kind of. That's the, the Princess and the Hound and the Princess and the Bear. That's for you. Crusade. Um, that's like vampire hunting vampire. Uh, this is the first book I ever read. Call of the Wild. That's the very first book I ever read. I think this is a watered version, though. Um, there's like two or three more of these. This is a history of my family. This, I'm shamelessly plugged for my dad here for a second. This is a book my dad wrote. Um, there's only a couple of hard copies in existence. It's for the Kindle for an e-reader. 99 cents on Amazon. You should read it because it's really good. The girl character is based off of me, and the boy character is, well, loosely based off of all of my brothers combined. If I can get it back in, that would be good. Um, here's my Vampire Academy. I wasn't super impressed with it, but I plan on finishing to read it. It just went to the back. That's a journal. That is my Buddha book. I have a Quran. You probably saw it. That is a hymnal that the church gave me when I graduated high school. Then we have, I don't, what is that there? Oh, those are CDs. This is a thing that somebody gave me. And then my best friend has Evermore. I haven't read past Shadowland. Um, Maya Angelou, Completed Works. Uh, White Cat by Holly Black. Anne Rice, Vampire Chronicles, American Gods. Everybody's got to have some Neil Gaiman in their bookshelf, so that's mine. Here's another Sim de Williams Chima. These are fairy books about fairies, like F-A-E-R-I-E-S. Uh, the Weight of Silence is about a deaf girl. My grandmother gave these two books to me, Angel Falls and The Weight of Silence. Um, and then my best friend for like 12, when we were 12, she gave me these books for my birthday. So, that's pretty much my bookshelf. I also have up here... Yeah. Ugh! I had to stand up. This is my Skyward Sword playbook, and here's my prize possession of Hyrule Historia. Um, nobody's allowed to touch that. So, that's pretty much it. I have an e-reader, but yeah, don't hate me. I think e-readers are brilliant. I don't think they're evil. So, I think oh, I also have Bressinger that he's the Through the Ages Holy Bible. These are for my niece for her birthday. She, her birthday's in May. Uh, Magic Half is a book I'm borrowing. This is Smutty. Shadows Claim by Cole. Cole. Yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much my bookshelf. Hope you enjoyed. Um, I'll see you next week.